Yo, what's the deal? I'm Ree, and I'm Ashley. And welcome to Let's Get Back To It. So let's get back to it. So the purpose of this show is for us to spread positivity, good vibes, good, vibes, good energy, give you some good advice, and have fun along the way. Man, let's tell them what we talk about today. Now, as you can see, we are outside in Mother Nature because we are going to be getting to our roots. The roots, roots of, like the trees? No, the roots of why is it why it is important to prioritize yourself in all aspects of life. Okay. I mean, in your career, uh -huh. in your personal life, yeah, yeah. in your relationship. Uh oh, we are gonna some get, tea. We gonna get into it. Let's get to it. So, let's do it. Where you wanna start? There's so many ways to go. Like, what? I mean, I guess the easiest way would probably to start is why is it important to prioritize yourself in your personal life? Yeah. So Ashley, you you sound real informed about this. Like, do you do you do this? Like, you have a job in this field, or? Well, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually a life and mindset coach. So I work with people on aspects like this. Okay. Like self love and prioritizing themselves because it's hard for people to do that. Yeah. We tend to feel like if we put ourselves first, it's selfish for you know, some reason. That's yeah. crazy that you say that. <laughs> That is crazy. You wouldn't that happen you, to relate. Man. You never done we, that. You say, let's get to it. I mean, you never done that. So we're going to have to make sure the audience tell us a time where you have done that. A time where you have in your personal life uh -huh. prioritized something or someone else over yourself. And let you be an example. So how about you give us an example? Man. Like you said, it's, it's, it's really hard to put yourself first because you feel like you're being selfish. But it's like... In order to get to somebody else, you got to be 100% with yourself. Mm -hmm. I was actually just talking about this. And not to get really back and not to get into careers like quickly, mm -hmm. but I was saying how if you aren't doing good in your personal life, I was telling someone else this, that it's hard for you to succeed in your business if you're not taking care of home. For sure. So how is it you can, let me ask you, how uh -oh. has your personal life, Prioritizing in your personal life haven't made an effect in your career and your career choices. Honestly, man, I feel like me being a hundred percent with myself has just taken in control of everything. Like since I've been back a hundred percent with me, everything's been going on the up and up. So I do agree that once you're a hundred percent with yourself, you will see your life changing really, like all the way around. The way you feel, things you eat, you know what I'm saying, the things you do, all the way around, your mindset, your spirit, everything. And it's crazy, when you say mindset, speaking of mindset, it's crazy just how much your thoughts and the way you think Man. can control just how far you go in life. It's crazy. Did you know that we have, when we crave certain things, it's due to something psychological? No, dive deep into that. Tell me what you So, mean. I was listening to a podcast. Um, I want to say it was about a lady who controls surviving vegan. Forgive me for not remembering her name, but... She was saying how different emotional traumas is attached to different types of foods. Okay. So when you're craving sweets, it's usually to fill a void. That means and it's crazy because since I've been out of like my toxic relationship, I don't even crave sweets. I used to crave them so much. And it's like, wow, like the connection is really mind blowing. Like I said, when you get 100% with yourself, life starts showing you different things that you really never seen. You see a lot of things more clear. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. And I know, and it's funny when you say that because food and our relationship with food, which we're going to have to talk about that in a different episode, but our relationship with food, it kind of goes way back into our childhood. Yeah. You got to think, when it's a birthday, we have cake, we celebrate. When there's a funeral, everybody brings a dish, we eat, we have food, and so we start to attach food with certain types of experiences and then we run the food when we need comfort yes. and then you get in a relationship and they're like oh you have a happy way no you yes. just you run into the food because you you need a swiss roll why for are you some spilling so much tea so quick <laughs> man. it is let's get to it man she getting to it y'all not hearing her we though, gotta man. keep them coming back we gotta keep them coming back i'm trying to give them the knowledge child. because we want to see you grow okay when you come and let's get back to it it's because we know that when you get back to it, the your true self, because we, we already know that if you listen to yourself, mm -hmm. it's always 
it's it's usually the best idea. It's kind of like, kind of like your intuition. Yeah. When you don't trust your intuition, yeah. like you and yourself had a conversation and y'all determined something, mm -hmm. and you will go you go against that because of somebody else's feelings. Yeah. And then when you do it, you be like, damn. Hmm. Why didn't I follow or right. trust my intuition? Because my stomach told me. You hear me? Your and body my brain would tell told me. Your body would tell you. And, you just gotta listen. And look, and then the the, the universe will tell me because something will start to go wrong. Man. Suddenly it's like. I'm talking about the littlest things like suddenly every time I go to get eggs, I ain't got no eggs. Every time I'm messing with this one. <laughs> you like, eggless. I'm eggless. <laughs> like every time this hoe come around, I ain't got no eggs. What's the correlation it's there? A, though, it's right? a, listen, it might be small, but then it starts to be every time. Like every time she come around, my toast fall, You're jelly side down. Every time she come Girl, around, you make me every time she come around, we stuck on the elevator. Every time she come around, I then get a just ticket. Go now you know you, you ain't talking. You talking to somebody? Now look, but every, you listen. Every time you in the car, something happened. Come on, and she can't help. Let come me not look. Let me. Hold huh? Ooh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, let's get back to the topic. Wait, I'm sorry. We're talking about positive vibes. I told you we was going to stay on one path and one path. See, we got to say the toxic people to the after part. Oh, they don't, they don't even know about the after part. See, the after part, that's what we really get into. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's when we, when we might have a little buzz, a little ball. Ooh. And then that's when you really get to enjoy us because we're going to be talking with the unfiltered. She filtering me right since, now. Since, since, like, oh, look since at her. She's so sweet. It. Since you done broke it up, they done gave me a buzz ball and it got me buzzed, y'all. <laughs> look, it's about this big. How you? It's 15% though. Don't you gotta we ain't be gonna, tough. We ain't going to play with it. No, I'm, I'm still. See, I, I on, drag my out. See, you, she did solid. have hers in like five minutes. Yeah, like, I dragged mine out. Like an hour, I let mine buzz. I don't play with it. You know what I'm I saying? buzzed it out. If I'ma do it. I'ma do it. I you know buzzed it out. Real. But anyway, <laughs> prioritizing. So I think this is a good cut. I don't know how, but we're gonna make it a leeway into talking about why you gotta prioritize yourself in relationships. Because mm -hmm. we kind of a little bit of talked about careers. We tiny bit talked about personal lives, but I kind of switched the subject. But I think pers relationships is something that we all can relate with. Or relate to yeah. so I think I asked you earlier but let's really get into it let's talk about a time where you have prioritized yourself in a relationship or not prioritize yourself in your relationship and what the downfall of that has been and what prioritizing yourself has done mm. Why are you trying to get into all the tea, man? You trying to have me... Well, you you could be vague. You could be vague. You could be like, you know, I prioritize this person over this, and it stopped me from doing this. You ain't got to give too much. You can say no, the detail. No, we can talk about, about it. I ain't got... Let's get... Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh I knew it was going to happen. Ooh. It's wait. We got sorry, it. So sorry. So sorry. It's okay. We good. Pause it. Pause it. Let's restart it. Make sure we on... Is we waving? We waving. Go okay. ahead, wave. Yeah, mic's up here. Mike's we wave. Here. Yeah. We so good. it's not affecting your mic. Yeah, it was good. Mic check, mic check. All right, cool. Wait. Um, so we? as I ask, a relationship. So yeah. let's talk about a time. That um, yeah. Talk about a time where a relationship, where you didn't prioritize yourself, and how that might have affected you um, and your growth in life. I feel like there was times that I didn't prioritize myself, and I, I ultimately fell back on a lot of things that I wanted to do. A lot of my goals, a lot of things that I had planned for my life because I was so focused on the relationship, you know what I'm saying? And not not having that same mentality and deciding to prioritize my goals and the things that, you know, I want to do and that I always plan to do. I just seen my life take a turn for the better, you know? A lot of things is, is changing. I'm evolving. I'm growing. Like, I'm doing stuff I never even thought I could do. Like, <laughs> I think that people start to mistake you know making their partner happy yeah with like not choose like they have to they can't do both i think the I, important part is to know like if your partner really loves you mm -hmm. prioritizing yourself mm -hmm. will also be important to them mm -hmm. because we can both prioritize yeah. ourselves we don't have to just i gotta choose you or you yeah. gotta choose me because they see it your they see should, when you doing your everything happiness for matters them. just as much as you feel me my mm -hmm. happiness to me if we if you know what i'm saying if, if that's real love yeah. But see, that's a whole nother topic. Mm -hmm. 
Nowadays, love got love. you hear me? Look, they let's, we ain't gonna definition. talk about TikTok love. Uh -oh. We ain't gonna talk about. We gonna talk Instagram, about Instagram, social media, Facebook, yeah. because people like to like to look good instead of be good. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the real problem. <sighs> but we we ain't gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna. She <laughs> said you like to look good. We ain't gonna talk about it. She said you like to look good, but you don't want to. We ain't gonna talk about it. You don't want to be good, man. And, I, and as I was saying, in relationships, I think we start to think, okay, if I keep making my partner happy, that's going to make me happy. But that's not how it works. Yeah. Because happiness is an inside job, it's as we all know. Yeah. It's something that only can be provided for within. No other person can make you happy. No relationship can make you happy. Sure. No job can make you happy. For sure. Nothing. No child can make you happy. No For one. Sure. Nothing can make you happy. Only you can do it within yourself. For sure. People can bring you joy. Uh -huh. They can make you they feel can bring good. You this. But yeah. if you ain't good within, you're not. Exactly. I could bring put some joy right here on the plate in front of you. Be like here's some joy. You be like, but I'm sad. I don't give a some people are okay with temporary satisfaction. Oh yeah. So because you know Amazon come in two days and sometimes come in one day. Okay. Sometimes you can get it right now. And instant gratification seems like a whole lot more than the work. <laughs> Cause I dare wouldn't want to like Stop write a letter and put it in the mail and wait for the post office to do it the old fashioned way. I would it's prefer right to it's right let here. Amazon put it in the box in two hours. Let the drone drop it off because I need it right now. Right I don't though. want the work. And then you be ten years later prioritizing somebody else that forgot about your career and I forgot about all the things you wanted to do. So since we since we on the topic, have you had a time where you feel like you didn't prioritize yourself and it led to you falling behind or, or what was the difference oh, between yeah. prioritizing and not prioritizing yourself? So I actually used to be 400 pounds. And I was in a situation where I felt like, like I'm one of those people. I know, I know somebody going to relate when I start to say this. I'm one of those people who I feel like I could almost buy love mm -hmm. if I kept on paying the bills, if I kept on doing everything she wanted me to do. Who cares if I didn't have time for myself? Who cares if I didn't have time for what I wanted to do? She was happy. She was good. So that should have like did something for me or at least that's what I was telling that's myself be because thinking. the people pleasing mindset tells mm -hmm. you that if the people around you are happy then automatically that makes you happy but that's that's not true because we can be in a room full of people and still feel alone okay you can live with a person and yeah still feel alone. And, st and right and they be happy happy joy joy and you man, on the inside I'm like oh, <laughs> come in, man, man. <laughs> okay um, and like why are you happy around here and I'm over here sad Mm. It don't be making no sense, but it, I mean, it really can come down to you choosing to prioritize somebody else's happiness over you. And I always tell people the last thing you want to do is to be 10 years down the road being mad. You can't even be mad at them when they like, pick me, pick me, because that's all you've done. Mm -hmm. That's all they know. You mm -hmm. trained them, you trained yourself up, and now you mad at them and yourself because they're not making the change. But I mean, you the one who told me I was up here on this pedestal, so mm -hmm. you can't be And you mad. made me feel this way. Yeah. And you allowed me to do yeah. what I did and come back and do it again. Yeah, but I mean, then you have to be accountable for your own. Okay. And that's it's a, quick. It's easy to blame. That's one thing. Because it's easy to blame somebody else. Mm -hmm. Accountability is one of the hardest things for people to do. And it's okay. Like, we going to be and wrong Accountability sometimes. and prioritization really go hand in hand because if you don't take accountability for your actions, you're not going to be able to prioritize what's important. If you don't know, you know, where I went wrong, what I did, yeah. how I can fix, or what I need to fix, then you know, I'm sorry, the Pope is going to be destroyed, but I know it. But you know, the when you. Be yeah, yeah, that the, 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 I said the Pope is going to be that Dodo. The they don't know nothing about that. They don't need nothing about that. Hey, they don't need no. But seriously, I mean, but material. really, the whole point of it is, if you don't put yourself first in life, you're not going to be able to get anywhere. Yeah, for sure. Because you can't be a good mother if you're not a good you. Uh -huh. You can't be a good partner you if you're not a good you. You can't be. Hold a you. on. Hold on. Hold on. The the issue. The real issue is people are afraid to be alone. But the what? time you take alone is the time you get to learn yourself. And, the, and you, then be... You get to know what you like. But then be happy when they're single. What you don't like. You get to learn what you need to fix. Mm -hmm. You get to address your trauma. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the part that people don't want to do, they feel uncomfortable. So they feel like when they get single, they got to have hoes. Or they got to hop back in another relationship. 
But when you do that, you just carrying your baggage from that relationship to Listen, the next relationship. If you can't spend time with you, why I want to spend why time with I you? Why I want to kick why it with I you? Why I want to spend time with if you? If you don't like like kicking it with you, why Look. would I want to kick it with you? Look, you told me you, you can't with your ass with you. last week. You tired of you that quick? You can't even be with you. Why yeah. would I want to be with you? You already why? trying to bring somebody else in the house because you tired of being in the house with you. Like, you shit, want me to come by myself for a night? I need somebody. I see why she does. Why? Why would I want to be with you if you can't even be with you? I can kick it by myself, but, cause I get a lot done by myself. But, but we I'm all a different do. type of. Man. We don't want to admit that. It's like, of course we want to have love. Of course we want to have a partner, and there's nothing wrong with that. But we have to understand that if we aren't our best self, whatever we are offering, it's, it's not going to be. I mean, if I'm a, if I'm at a five. I'm out here probably going to find another five, and I know at the end of that, I want to be a ten, so I'm, I can't be mad if I start to boss myself up for a ten when I met you at a five, when you was a five when I met you, and mm -hmm. I was like, well, you know, this works for right now. Yes. Right See, now. some people are good to be in your life a season. A season? A season. They're not all here forever? A season. I thought everybody was some here Some people are here for forever, and season. I thought they all had to and like you. when you got trauma, you attract the people based upon your trauma. Do you? But when you take a time to, to just address what you don't going through and dealing with it, so what's you telling me that when I'm toxic, I don't attract positive people? Yeah. You telling me that when I'm like in the midst of a breakup that I haven't even taken time to heal for myself, that like the the men that are a quality, the women that are good quality, are not coming to find me? You telling me that that they don't see me then? When I'm like crying all the time and frustrated and I'm not even doing for me? The good people don't see me then? No. Uh, you know what? You know, I meet other people that's going through the same stuff. Exactly. Who feel the same, who can relate. They can relate. They don't that's even right. know the girl. That's right. They're like, we can heal together. Mm. We can fix each other. Uh-huh. Yeah. You don't need you to fix, fix your problem. Self. I'll you fix your problems for you. Self, and then I'll work on myself. How do you expect to have something really great when you're not great within? You got to really work on yourself. It's, it, it really take time to yourself to even evaluate and understand what's what's going on with you. You're going to learn what you love, mm -hmm. and you're going to learn what you need to improve. Yeah. But the end, the conclusion, the end result is the greatest thing possible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you become a better you. So now, like you said, your career, mm -hmm. your relationships, mm -hmm. your personality, mm -hmm. the things you attract. Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy how things have come full circle for you. I'm as long as you put yourself first. Mm -hmm. And as hard of a, of a thing that is to hear, you have to do it. You have to do it. So it's, it's a necessary for growth. Given that you're a life coach, Ashley, what, what would you advise someone to do to start putting themselves first? What's some things that somebody could, could implement in their lives to, you know, get that first step okay. on self-care? Put me on the spot. Put me on the spot. No, okay, so one thing I will say <laughs> when it comes to goals, like if you have a goal in your life, and you don't have a timeline on it, and mm -hmm. you haven't put a date to when that goal is going to occur, it's just pointless. Oh no, you gotta write it down. Yeah. You gotta put it in your you gotta, notes. Yeah, if you, you gotta, gotta see it. If you ain't got a plan, if you ain't gotta, yeah. But I will say, this, when it comes to prioritizing yourself, I think the first, one of the best things you can do to start is to pick you first every day. Mm -hmm. And how, so how would you do that though? The first thing you do when you wake up, you don't have to be someone, I'm not gonna tell you to meditate, I'm not gonna tell you to pray, I'm not gonna tell you to write, I'm gonna tell you to do whatever makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. But pick you first. Don't pick up your phone. Mm -hmm. Don't pick up the remote. Mm -hmm. Don't don't jump up to go get the kids out of bed. Don't jump up to go get breakfast made for anybody else. Choose you first every day. If you pick you, the first thing, Every day, you are allowing yourself to believe that you are a priority right off that. I mean, so it's really that simple. Is there a time frame on that picking you? Like, do I pick me for like five minutes? Do I pick me for now, like look, an hour? Like, be realistic. Don't be like, okay, I'm going to pick me for two minutes. And then at the end of that two minutes, you mad at you <laughs> for only allowing you to have two minutes. Like, allow yourself some time that's worth some time. Let's say at least 20 minutes. And that might that and, and if that means you might have to wake up a little bit earlier for your schedule, then do that for you. There is nothing wrong with allowing yourself some time to just because whatever you pick first in the morning, I'm telling you, it has so much control. Mm. 
Like when you pick up, if you get up in the morning and it's just the tension, you know, some of us feel you, I anxiety feel like as soon as we wake up. You just addressed a whole other topic. You got to wake up in a positive spirit because like you said, mm -hmm. that, that navigates how your day is. Mm -hmm. So if you wake up irritated, man, your day not going to really go that sharp. You gotta, so if you pick that 20 minutes to be like, okay, I'm irritated. I can feel it. Well, let me just change it around because you have to be aware. Awareness is a big thing. If you are aware of your mood, then that means that you can change it because you have all the control in your life. You have the ability to change it. So if you can be like, I'm aware Okay, I'm agitated, and you know when you're agitated. I feel like other people know it. Another thing is like you can't bring yesterday's problems into today. For one, we lucky to get it today. Yeah. Who told you you had today? Yesterday. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Yesterday. So who like gave you woke you up. That's enough to even. You how you doing? Up. You feel me? You're That's welcome. enough. Like, thank you. Somebody. Whoever did you it. believe in, you know what I'm saying? That's somebody enough to it. be grateful to wake up because a lot of people did. Mm -hmm. Not somebody. A lot of people mm -hmm. did. So I feel like you got to be grateful for the good days and the bad days. You know what I'm saying? Some days not going to go so swift. You know what I'm saying? It happens. But keep pushing. Yeah. And Better any the day, day for sure. every day goes swell if you made it through. It might have been a tough one. I mean, and as I always say, like, your day is as successful as you define success. Mm -hmm. Since if you go out into the day like it, if I don't make $10,000 today, right. today is not going to be, be a good day, nah, then you ain't going to have a successful day. But if you say, you know what, I'm going to at least make it through today. I'm going to lay in this bed tonight, no matter how tired I am, and I'm going to tuck myself over this cover, and I'm going to make it through today. Okay. At least at night when you do that, even if you fell asleep on the couch first, when you get sun, to the bed, sunny, uh, the sun is sunny. That you can be like, I had a success. Our melody probably shine. I know, hold on, let's wear glasses off. So look yeah. weird. Okay. This moment is hold brought on, to you. Oh, I'm sorry. You're lucky I can't. Hey. This moment is brought to you okay. by Vitamin stop D. Playing. Which vitamin is the sun D. 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 This moment is brought to you by Vitamin D and the melody. Let's just blow. Okay. Oh. Let's appreciate you know what I'm saying, our melody. I know. And let's hope. <laughs> sorry, no, let me stop. <laughs> she had posed on me and I can't throw my hair so shit I had to do something nice you feel me something sweet I'm a domestic okay it was funny. take my shoes <laughs> <laughs> see this buzz I don't do buzz bars you feel me this buzz bar got me buzz y'all I tried to tell man, okay. so now y'all getting the raw read you feel me to be someone I'm not going to tell you to meditate. I'm not going to tell you to pray. I'm not going to tell you to write. I'm going to tell you to do whatever makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. But pick you first. Don't pick up your phone. Mm -hmm. Don't pick up the remote. Mm -hmm. Don't don't jump up to go get the kids out of bed. Don't jump up to go get breakfast made for anybody else. Choose you first every day. If you pick you the first thing every day, you are allowing yourself to believe that you are a priority right off that. I mean, so it's really that simple. Is there a time frame on that picking you? Like, do I pick me for like five minutes? Do I pick me for now, look, an hour? Like be realistic. Don't be like, okay, I'm going to pick me for two minutes. And then at the end of that two minutes, you mad at you <laughs> for only allowing you to have two minutes. Like, allow yourself some time that's worth some time. Let's say at least 20 minutes. And that might that and, and if that means you might have to wake up a little bit earlier for your schedule, then do that for you. There is nothing wrong with allowing yourself some time to just because whatever you pick first in the morning, I'm telling you, it has so much control. Mm -hmm. Like when you pick up, if you get up in the morning and it's just the tension, you know, some of us feel you, I anxiety feel like as soon as we wake up. You just address the whole other time. You gotta wake up in a positive spirit, cause like you said, mm -hmm. that that navigates how your day is. Mm -hmm. So if you wake up irritated, man, your day not gonna really go that sharp. You gotta. So if you pick that twenty minutes to be like, okay, I'm irritated, I can feel it. Well, let me just change it around because you have to be aware. Awareness is a big thing. If you are aware of your mood, then that means that you can change it because you have all the control in your life. You have the ability to change it. So if you can be like, I'm aware. Okay, I'm agitated, and you know when you're agitated. I feel like other people know it. Another thing is like you can't bring yesterday's problems into today. For one, we lucky to get it today. Yeah. Who told you you had today? 
yesterday. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Yesterday, so who like you woke today? up. That's enough to even. You How you doing? Up. You feel you me? That's up. enough. Like, you thank you. Somebody, whoever did it. you believe in. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody enough to it. be grateful to wake up because a lot of people did. Mm -hmm. Not somebody. A lot of people mm -hmm. did. So I feel like you got to be grateful for the good days and the bad days. You know what I'm saying? Some days not gonna go so swift. You know what I'm saying? It happens. But keep pushing. Yeah. yeah. And Better any days day, for sure. Every day goes swell if you made it through. It might have been a tough one. I mean, and as I always say, like, your day is as successful as you define success. Mm -hmm. Since if you go out into the day like, if, if I don't make $10,000 today, right. today is not going to be a good day. Let's be realistic, nah. Then Come you on, ain't nah. going to have a successful day. But if you say, you know what, I'm going to at least make it through today. I'm going to lay in this bed tonight, no matter how tired I am, and I'm going to tuck myself in this cover, and I'm going to make it through today. Okay. At least at night when you do that, even if you fell asleep on the couch first, when you get sun, to the bed, sunny, the sun is sunny. Then you can be like, I had a success. Our melody probably shine. I know, hold on, let's wear glasses off. Look here. Okay. This moment is hold brought on, to you. Hold on, Oh, I'm sorry. You lucky I can't. Hey. This moment is brought to you okay. by Cause Vitamin stop playing. Which vitamin is the sun get? B. 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 This moment is brought to you by Vitamin D and the melody. Let's just blow. Okay. Let's appreciate you know what I'm saying? Our melanin. I know. And let's hope. <laughs> it's like, no, let me stop it. <laughs> she had posed on me and I can't throw my hair, so shit, I had to do something nice. You feel me? Something sweet. I must have missed it. Okay. It was funny. See, my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> See, this buzz ball. I don't do buzz balls. You feel me? This buzz ball. Got me buzz, y'all. Man, okay. So now y'all getting the raw read. You feel me? That's that's what they get. Nah, let me let me tell you. Get back oh, man, let's go ahead and conclude our show. Get ready for the after party. It's all time to get to the after party. The show has been a long day. We tired. We gonna get the cutting the up. The sun is setting. The show is is like okay. You ready to tell them what the after party is? Or what? Well, before I tell you what the after party is, let me just end this part of the show by saying, we hope that through our good conversation, you gained something, whether it was a little thing or a yeah. big thing, or you just enjoy watching us. We definitely want and, it to be insightful. We mm -hmm. want you to be able to take something away mm -hmm. from the show. And we want you to come and mess with us again, man. Yeah. So make sure y'all like, comment, share. Like. Let us know what you want to see us talking about, what you yeah. want to hear. You may not know a mindset coach. You may not have been able to get that experience. It's Ask girl. questions. Girl. So we can really grow together. And I'm telling you, I made a, um, a manifestation at the beginning of the year that I will be surrounded by millionaires. So now yeah. that you are on our Receive journey, now it. that you are on our journey, hey. you about to be big millionaire energy. Ooh. 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 And you know, we might have to put some music on this after party. No, I hear some old school. Uh, Somebody in the pool up playing that. Oh, y'all. That's know what happens that. when you outside. So who knows where you will catch Where's us at nature? next time? Because every episode will bring you to a new place. Yeah. But thank you for joining Ooh. us here outside. I didn't even introduce myself the whole show. You know, I'm Marie, I'm an actress, I'm a host, I'm a rapper, I'm a singer, I got a clothing brand. You feel me? We out we out here. Whatever you need, come see me. You feel me? And Ashley, one more time, let them know what you do just so they can come, you know, mess with you. Let as, them know. As you've already heard, again, I'm a life and mindset coach. I'm a designer. Me and my partner have a store. I work with women, black women in business. I help them with empowerment, self-love, social media, accountability. We are doing big things yeah. in the black community. It's yeah. all about seeing us grow, grow, grow. Right. And now, oh. It's that GNSL and, right here, by the way. Ground, I sleep later, man. Shout out to GNSL. Oh, yeah, this is a little happily hurt. A little happily hurt. Yeah. Let them know what we doing. A little happily hurt. A little happily Let's get it to it, man. But we'll okay. see y'all on the next episode. All right, so on the after we'll party. After party. You know, it's a uh, 420 friendly place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Vibes. The good know. vibes. So if you're in Michigan, that's 21 and older. <laughs> Otherwise, it's tobacco. Oh, and it's water. We don't drink alcohol. We will not be drinking alcohol. There will be no buzz balls. Oh, love. There will be no. There will be no buzz balls.
after the party at the hotel lobby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I no, ain't for real, man. We holla at y'all next episode. Stay tuned.